everybody welcome to the finances vlog um this is just basically going to be the vlog about all of the little bank account details and money things and you know euro things that you have to or is good to learn about if you're an international student moving to the netherlands for the first time or to europe for the first time um i thought that for this vlog um i would just give you at the beginning a little intro of you know what i was expecting when i came here my sort of experience and i would say that overall it's been really really positive um i found that at least compared with american banking which is what i used to was used to um dutch banking is a lot more easy and it's a lot more secure um i know that in america like i can't tell anybody my bank account number and it's like a big secret but then here they have enough checks and balances in, in different places where like it's it seems to be harder to commit bank fraud uh which is nice um i never had a contactless card before i came here which was actually really inconvenient when i first moved here because a lot of them like require contactless cards like the atms and every or not the atms but the vending machines uh require contactless cards which i did not have until a couple weeks or maybe like a week or so into living in the netherlands um so having that is really nice you, you know you can use it all throughout europe because it's a european bank account um and credit cards i are very big in america but they aren't used barely at all here i don't think that i can even get one because they require like a you know stable working income um and as far as i know abn amro doesn't even offer them to international students specifically um but that's not really a problem they aren't really required there's not much of like a debt culture in the netherlands thankfully um so yeah i've just found that the banking system here is actually really much nicer um than in other parts of the world and i am excited to sort of show you all about it show um your different options and and some of the really good things to know when you're first moving to the netherlands so before we bid you do let's get into the vlog <laughs> It is common in the Netherlands, like the ATM machines located in somewhere that is populated with people. Uh, it's safe for like people who wants to take cash or store cash. Yeah, so here you can see like you can check how much like money you have in the account and you can like also take the money out of it and this is like return so it's pretty simple to use and you can see uh, those are the three banks that were that are very popular in the Netherlands you can also like uh, get cash from Mastercard and the Visa Hey everybody, um, so I'm currently outside of ABN Amaro, which is one of the main banks in the Netherlands and we are going to answer a few of your questions about banking in the Netherlands and student accounts and bank accounts, uh, so stay tuned for that! So the first question obviously that we need to answer is, do you even need a Dutch bank account? And the answer is sort of depends on whether you are an European student or a non-EU student. Um, my recommendation for non-EU students is definitely, absolutely, especially if like, you know, the card that you normally use is a visa or something like that. Um, having a Dutch bank account is really easy, first of all, and it's just very convenient uh, for traveling anywhere within Europe. For people with who already have um, a European bank account, I don't think it's as necessary, but you do want a Dutch bank account if you want to send tickies, which we will discuss later. Um, and it's also just fairly convenient for like transactions and payments and everything. So I would recommend it, um, but obviously it's your choice. Okay, so can you open a bank account from abroad? The answer is no, because you need BSN number. Uh, BSN number is the proof that you live in the, some city in the Netherlands. Uh, so you can't have any bank cards without your BSN number. And except for that, some banks, they also require resident cards, uh, which takes weeks or months to get. Uh, now we want to advise you to bring some emergency funds. So just in case you couldn't get your resident permit or things on time, you could still like survive for a few weeks. 
As for which bank I would personally recommend in the Netherlands, you have a couple different options. There's ABN AMRO, which we are outside of right now. There's Rabobank, there's IMG, there's a bunch of other ones. There's also online, online banks. Um, I personally chose ABN AMRO simply because I heard that when you first came, they didn't require your residence card because my residence card took a few um, like months to get. And all I had to do was bring my proof of proof of admission and uh, you know identification and all of that um, and then I was able to set up my student account within like the first week or so of being here which was really convenient because I had an American visa and that's very inconvenient to pay for um, but yes Sarah has some experience with some other banks in the Netherlands so I have experiences with both Rabobank and ING banks just because I couldn't get one of them on time. Uh, the, both ING bank and Rabobank, they are free to the students, but AMB bank is not. It's only like two euros something for a month. And also mostly their websites are in Dutch. So you should install some Chrome like uh, little apps to translate the language but the personnel and the workers inside the banks they are like both very fluent in English and you can always get the app which is also in English and another thing I want to mention is that I think ABN and the Rabobank they have this little scanner it will be here in this place as a photo so this scanner will like um, keep your safety every time when you pay online uh, now Rabobank is slowly transitioned to the QR code but sometimes it still requires you to pay with the scanner uh, but the ING bank it always just you can just always pay with your phone and the QR code which is very convenient I think so another option for banks in the Netherlands are what we call sustainable banks and sustainable banks invest their earnings in like good green causes and they don't invest in fossil fuels or child labor. I sort of wish that I had signed up for a sustainable bank uh, in the beginning but I didn't really know that they existed. Um, but such banks in the Netherlands are ASN and Triodos Bank, I think, um, and they don't have any branches in NIMA but you can always order the bank card online. We are walking along this open market right now. This is a quite fun place in Nimitha every Saturday. Like all the street vendors, they brought their stuff and come to sell here. Um, so I'm just about to go get some cheese for my mom because I'm going home in like a week. Um, and I'm going to pay with my bank card at the market, so very convenient. Clara, do you want to show us how Tiki works? Yes, the most important part of Dutch finances, the, the most important part um, is Tiki. T-I-K-K-I-E um, <laughs> If you are familiar with Venmo or other just like finance sharing things this is basically just the Dutch version of that which works with Dutch bank accounts um, and it basically lets uh, say that I paid for something with Sarah and then Sarah needs to pay me back then I will send Sarah a ticky or whatever amount or he can like put in the amount as well um, and then you can send it over WhatsApp or message or signal <laughs> email yeah email, 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 email. Um, and it's like really convenient, really fast. It shows like a fun little animated GIF once you've uh, paid and it's very useful. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do online banking in the Netherlands. Uh, this is like a famous website. It's called Bo.com. It's almost like the Dutch version of Amazon. You can see I'm already putting something in the shopping cart and it shows me the price. And you can see I can use Ideal, I can use Mastercard, and Visa, and American Express. And if I just go to the payments, you can see I can change the uh, payment method here. And with Ideal, you can see all those banks we just mentioned before. For example, ANG and the AISN sustainable banks. And we also have those Rabobank. Uh, except for that, we can also pay with credit cards. You can see here, credit cards. Um, they accept Visa and Mastercard. Uh, you can also pay with American Express. 
and here is the option that you can pay afterwards which you will also have to pay with iView so I will just advise everyone just have a Dutchback account it's gonna make you accessible to almost all um, shopping websites in the Netherlands so that was our finances vlog. Um, I hope that it gave you some good information just about moving here. It's always such a rush in the first couple of weeks of moving to a new country because you have to sort out all of your bank account and your room and maybe even start classes and do all of this stuff. Um, but I hope that some of our tips um, came in handy and prepared you a little bit for moving to the Netherlands as an international student. Um, I just wanted to wrap up this vlog from my home in the United States to say uh, goodbye because this is going to be my last vlog for Radboud, the university YouTube channel. Um, I have been doing the vlog since my first year uh, of my bachelor ever since I first arrived in Nijmegen and it's been really really nice to do these every month and sort of track my progress um, throughout my bachelor. I'm currently working on the exams, my final exams for my second year, so that means I'm just going to take next year off to work on my thesis and final classes and do all this fun stuff. Um, so I'm going to leave these vlogs in the great hands of the next vlogger who comes after me. Uh, and I just wanted to say goodbye. Thank you so watch for watching. Um, subscribe, like, comment if you want to. Um, but overall, just thank you so much um, for watching. I do it for you. And yeah, goodbye.